to control things and scan through and select on the iPad. So we're in switch control settings and this time I'm going to actually add two switches. So add a new switch, external, uh, activate the first switch. This one will be for moving. So you can give it a name or just leave it as switch one. And instead of selecting this time, I'm going to tell it to move to the next item. So that's the action that switch will perform. And my second switch, add again, this one will be for selecting. So I'll just call that choose and save. So I choose my switch action, which is right at the top there, select the item. So my two switches are added this time. I can go back to switch control. There's a few other settings here. So timing's not relevant uh, because I control the timing by moving the switch um, cursor myself and choosing. But uh, if I do want to do any little extra things other than selecting uh, apps that are on the screen or selecting uh, things on the screen, I can um, pull up a little auto tap menu. Um, so I'll show you that now because I want to actually go to the home screen just using my switches. So I'll turn switching on and you can see auto taps just under timing there and it says um, one second. So this is enabled. Um, what will happen is the select action which we've assigned to a switch will happen uh, unless we tap um, twice um, than the one second to bring up that extra menu. So I'm going to tap twice now. Okay, so I've got my menu up, does take a little bit of getting used to, and now I can move through and get to that home menu and choose that to get to my home screen. As if I was someone who wasn't able to tap that home button, I've got a way to access that using switching now. So because I'm using two switch scanning, I can control that scan myself. Um, I'm actually going to come back. You can see that you can get down to your little um, home screen swipe and swipe through to the next home screen there, down to our um, dock and back up. I'm going to select this row and I'm actually going to go to the camera this time and just show you how you can take a picture. So I have uh, Gumby and Pokey there ready to take a picture of. So I can move through menu items and you can see now I'm on the dot that actually allows me to take the picture. I'll just show you what happens if I keep scanning. I can get down to uh, the, the photo album and um, we can get back up to HDR and also um, reversing the camera view so that it's for selfies or in this case, we're just taking a picture of what's outside. So let's scan back and then we're on the whole screen and that to take our picture. So now you can see down the bottom there, if I select this, this is the picture that I've just taken and it's on my camera roll. Okay, so that's two switch scanning.